Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello, dynamic learners. Wish you a very great day from Dr. A. Vijayamuda Meri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Very glad to meet you again in this video lecture. We are going to see a very interesting session that is convex hull problem. So, let me make it more easy and simple. So, first let me define what is a convex set. So, a set of points in a plane is called convex. If for any two points P and Q in the set, the entire line segment with the endpoints at P and Q also belong to the set. So, now let us define what is a convex hull. So, the convex hull is the smallest convex set that includes all the points which forms a convex polygon. So, this polygon connects the outermost points and the inner angles of the polygons are lesser than 180 degrees. So, informally it is assumed to be like the shape formed by a rubber band which is wrapped around a set of nails you can see in the figure. Just to think of you are wrapping a rubber band around a set of points or around a set of nails. The shape that is formed is called a convex polygon. So, here are some examples which are convex sets and there are sets that are not convex. So, first let us look at the figure that, are, that is convex sets. So, here you can see that the, the shape, okay, you can, I, you can observe the shape, the outermost points are connected. But here it is not so, the sets that are not convex, isn't it? It is a very important point here. Now, we have to determine if the two points are on the line, above the line or below the line. So, we all know that the expression for a straight line is Ax plus By plus C equal to 0. So, if Ax plus By is greater than C, then the points should be above the line. If Ax plus By is lesser than C, then the points fall below the line. So, using these formulas you can determine if the points are on the boundary or above the line or below the line. So, here is a very simple algorithm for convex hull. So, given a set of points in a plane, for all points P in uh, the set S yes, and for all points Q in S. Yes. Okay, if P is not equal to Q, that is if P belong to a separate set and if Q is belonging to a separate set, if P is not equal to Q, then you can draw a line segment from P to Q. Okay, and the next is a very important line, that is if all the points in the set S yes, except P and Q lie on one side of the line. So, what does it mean here? So, when you are connecting a line segment from P to Q, and if the points are lying on one side of the plane, that is if the points are lying below the line, if none of the points are above the line, that means you can add the directed vector PQ to the solution set. So, when you connect P and Q in such a way, you will get a convex polygon like this. That is you are connecting only the outermost points and you are keen to see that the points does not lie above the line. Okay. So, the points are bound within the line. So, here is an example of such convex hull. So, next we are discussing the applications. The convex hull algorithm is used to find the convex hull of a set of points in computational geometry. So, it finds various applications such as image processing, route planning, object modeling, mathematics, statistics, combinatorial optimization economics, geometric modeling and ethology. So, the time complexity of this algorithm is the major drawback actually. It takes big O of n cube time by brute force approach. Actually, we are doing this problem by brute force approach. So, we find all the possible points that is we find P in S and we find the set of points Q in S, we connect the line segment. So, here we are doing by brute force approach. So, the time complexity will be big O of n cube that is the drawback of this convex hill algorithm. So, thank you learners for listening the video. Let us continue quench our learning. Thank you once again.